Hey guys, and welcome to a new Let's Play. This time, we're going to be trying Brute Force on the original Xbox. We're going to be running on this on the 360, because my original Xbox took a shit not that long ago, um, unfortunately. Now, I was pausing, well, pausing, pouring through my game uh, library, and uh, this one was kind of shining out to me. I haven't played this since, uh, since it originally dropped back in the day. But uh, I remember this being quite a decent, that's going to be subjective, see if that holds up, decent um, co-op shooter. You could play this uh, four-player split screen, and everyone could be a different operative. All the different operatives have different skills. Do you remember that? Do you remember um, four-player split screen? Do you remember how much fun that was? Yeah, seems like a long time ago these days. Um, but this game has uh, also one to eight players through System Link, and also it's one of the earliest games, I think. If you check the box out, one of the earliest games that has digital content or download new content on Xbox Live. I never played that, but this, um, this also was one of the games that was uh, touted as being too extreme for the other consoles. The Xbox was the only machine powerful enough to run it. Now, opening this bad boy up, there's so much, like, material in these games. So many, like, pamphlets. I mean, I guess a load of it's junk, but it's kind of interesting going back to it now. Can you imagine if companies, like, would spare the extra penny these days to put stuff in like this? I mean, look at this. The manual is so colourful. There's so much in here as well. Um, gives you detailed control information, obviously, the control map, as you would expect. But it actually goes quite far in this. Gives you getting started, so tips and tricks with the enemies, which is kind of cool. And then you have like the detailed bios of uh, all the characters here, which is very nice. Now, one thing that me and my friends used to do uh, we used to take our manuals into school uh, of the games that we were playing and we'd just spend hours just reading through it. I mean, you know, who went to school and did work? Um, but yeah, there's just like, there's so much in here. I used to love manuals in video games. I think it was like halfway through the last generation we stopped getting them. I guess, you know, it co it's too expensive to include these these days. Even though it probably costs a couple of pence to print each one. But look, there's even information here on the enemies. It really is quite cool. I mean, when you consider what AAA gaming is these days, it's, I mean, you get like Destiny and Anthem, where you get a hollowed out demo for somewhere between 60 and and £100 that's broken on release and has zero content. But that's okay. It's okay, because they can solve the content issue down the line by selling you the patches as DLC. And in about two or three years' time, just before they release the next instalment, they might have patched uh, the game you originally brought to somewhere playable. Look at this. Look at this. Even all this. like There's a whole pamphlet here about all the other games that you could get. Even an advert for the actual... Eh, advert for the actual game. I remember Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball. I've got that somewhere. I brought that for for my missus once a long time ago. And she spent fucking months playing that. Toe Jam and Earl, Ninja Gaiden, Mafia, Midtown Madness. Metal Gear Solid 2, Substance. There's just so much in these. I always love going through these old manuals and things. Really is cool. They're like little time capsules of just how far gaming has become. And then, of course, we have this, which, as a kid, I used to look back at this and, and just wonder, be in awe, like, oh my god, online gaming for the masses. And my mind would just expand with all the ideas. Oh, if only we knew. If only we knew, guys. If only we knew the live service shitstorm that we're going to be walking into. Anyway, let's uh, head in to the actual game, shall we? So, yeah, we are running this on the Xbox 360. This is still not Xbox One backward compatible, but I suppose you can't grumble too much. At least it is 360 compatible. Uh, I do remember... 
pretty much back when I had time to do these things. I think I sat down and pretty much played this through almost in one sitting. I remember the characters are quite cool and quite unique. So this is going to be a proper blast from the past. I think this was a launch game. Let's try and find a date on it. Look at that. I paid 49 pence for this. You're not going to see it because my camera... Even though technically that's the second best webcam on the market, it's still just a webcam, really. So what have we got? Digital Anvil. I don't know what else these guys made, actually. But there's a Microsoft Game Studio, so they probably got axed. Now, I'm going to shut up and watch the intro play. Welcome to the newly commissioned 23rd Special Forces Unit. Code name, Brute Force. Damn, son. I remember that so well. I think I watched that like a thousand times back in the day. So here we are. We can actually look at the demos, but it kind of crashes the Xbox. So it's not really worth doing. If we were running this on the original machine... Oh, this is 2003. So the Xbox came out in 2002. So this would have been, what, second wave release of games? Hmm... Interesting. Let's start. We can go for campaign, deathmatch, squad deathmatch, options. Let's have a look at the options. Also, I'm using this control pad that my missus gave me. It's the limited edition Gears of War one. And what I like about it is you have the uh, upgraded D-pad that uh, took Microsoft, what, two generations to get right with the Xbox One. But uh, interestingly enough, they made these. Um, yeah, you twist it and it transforms. Uh, they made these control pads limited edition. I don't know why they didn't just upgrade them all to this design, but who knows how things work. Downloadable content. Oh, I'm tempted, guys. I might have a look at that off camera. Anyway, let's go campaign. Single Xbox console. What's a quick campaign? Start new campaigns using default settings. Start a new campaign or load a saved one. Your campaign can host missions with up to four players on one Xbox okay well we will just we'll just go to campaign uh, we'll go for default I don't like inverted we'll go for new campaign campu one we're not gonna be called campu one let's be I don't know Ty tan because why not right uh, there we go that will do done. We'll go for standard, hard, or brutal. Uh, for the novice. For serious gamers. For the elite gamer. Uh, select a higher difficulty for greater rewards. Like, what does that mean? Does that mean you get more points or something? I don't know. Well, we're going for, we're going for hard. We're going for the standard. Brutal. I remember this game has its moments for being really fucking hard. Um, so, I mean, I guess we're going to be Tex. Okay, Tex is like the tank. He can dual wield weapons. He's pretty burly, as you would imagine. Thinking the aspect ratio might be slightly off. I'll have a look at that. From Deputy Director of Directions, Counterinsurgery 
Insurgency Commander. Operation Brute Force has been approved. Mission parameters require ninth cloning of operative codename Turx. Potential genetic instability. Blah, blah, blah. Accessing video cloning archives. Searching for operative text. Speciality Berserker. Yeah, because when you die in this game, the way they handle it is you just get recloned, which I like that. That's cool. You can see, um, oh, this is pre-rendered, so you can't really count. Uh-oh. I'm going to say that didn't look good there for a minute. Well, shit. Left behind. I hear you, you son of a I guess back when swearing was frowned upon. Damn, Tex got hosed. Very pretty, lots of colours. Texas memory chip recovered from KB-42 cloning procedure successful. Subject has been deployed in the Confed op ship uh, TJAS, currently stationed in the Ulysses system. Okay. Reporting for duty, Commander Bratton. Sorry we haven't had much time for formalities. We have a situation, and you're the man to resolve it. I'm used to it, sir. A mercenary group called the Red Hand has been unusually active in this system in the last few weeks. Red Hand? Didn't they used to work for us? Not anymore. Huh. They get their wages elsewhere these days. We've managed to track them to a small base on the planet Estuary. I want you to go in and clean them out. Mm. Terrific. Pack up. You're on your own. I'll send some help if you run into anything you can't handle. Yeah, right. I've heard that before. <laughs> I've read your bio, Tex. I know what you've been through. And for that, you have my respect. So I'll forgive your descent. This time. Hmm. We will be using an experimental transportation device based on Confed forecasting technology to get you planet side. Forecasting? Like they use for fleet movements? Yes, Tex. We've started using it for equipment and personnel transportation. It will provide you with almost instant entry and extraction. Ooh. You needn't worry about getting stranded in a hot spot again. That depends on who's controlling the technology. Will I get any intel during the mission? I'll be monitoring mission progress through your optical implants. They allow me to see everything you do so I can analyze the mission while you are planet side. Great. Can I turn those implants off, you know, after hours? You leave immediately. <laughs> and Tex? Yes, sir. Welcome to the newly commissioned 23rd Special Forces Unit. Codenamed Brute, Brute Force. Force. Well, okay. That, like, camera in our eye looked really weird. It's, like, literally filling our entire eye cavity. Hmm. Okay. Well, as long as we can now see in high definition, which was just a pipe dream back then. The enemy base is well guarded. Welcome there to the 23rd. There are environmental hazards to consider as well. Watch your step. I'm going to guide you through this mission by updating yellow objective markers on your radar. Okay. Visually, you know. Stay at the drop zone for a basic refresher course if needed. Otherwise, proceed to the first objective marker when you are ready. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can see as soon as this game um, kind of loads in, it is a clear jump ahead of whatever the PlayStation 2 could have done. Uh, we will keep the tutorials for now. Use left thumbstick to move cat. Thanks, game. Enemies can hear you move. Try walking slowly to avoid detection. So, is there, like, stealth in this? I can't remember. Uh, my control pad, like, looks different to that. Are we going to have problems? Hmm. We certainly don't have a black and white button. Do you remember those? They were cool. Uh, use right thumbstick to look around. Note. Invert the, con the look controls by pressing the start button. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, the, the black and white button was so weird. Why didn't they just give us shoulder buttons? Ah, shit. Okay, so throwing nades is the left trigger. That's usually like aim. Um, 
Yeah, if you actually look at his arms. Oh. Health, stamina, red presents your health, blue represents stamina for special for special skills. Ah, right, so like Berserk Mode, current weapon, yeah, radar, squad information, sure. Yeah, if you look at his arms, I remember seeing... Uh, inventory, yeah, damage, reticle, tit, yeah, fine. Uh, you can actually see, like, veins and stuff like that on his arm. I mean, there's some real, like, bump mapping going on here, which was unheard of at the time. Looks like you've got company. Hey, boys. Your radar will track the enemy as red and allies as green. Well, that makes sense. Don't forget that objective markers are yellow. Right, come on, you... <sighs> Fire weapon. I'm firing my weapon. Reload is X. That's great. Um, okay, fine. Wow, we need some new weapons. <laughs> I think this is going to be full of, like, one-liners and stuff like that. The weapon actually feels quite nice. Uh, so, Y is to switch weapon. Uh, X is to pick up. Zoom weapon is clicking the thumbstick. You can only carry two weapons at once. Yeah, that was a big thing on the Xbox, wasn't it? With Halo and a few other top titles. Now, I never understood... Pick up their oh. And ammo. They'll come in handy. oh, so we can shoot and zoom in. That's cool. Right, I get some nades and some ammo. Nice. Locked down. Fucking loaded. Come on, Tex. Go do some damage. I like that apparatus that we've got on our back as well. That's quite cool. We can switch over. Both of our weapons are the same. Look at how fancy that was, man. That's so cool. I like that. And my alarm is going off. Yeah. Don't know why I have an alarm set for one o'clock. Kind of weird. Uh, okay. Uh, can we have some gameplay, please? Use those rocks and trees for cover and try to get in close enough to take that guy out with a grenade. Yes, boss. Pull the left trigger to throw a grenade. Why do you want me to, like, uh, use item? Kill this guy with a nade, man. Cycle inventory is B. Use a health pack is black. Now, what's black? Black's either going to be RB or LB. Probably RB. Why didn't they just have uh, bumper buttons on the original Xbox design? That's kind of weird. Were well, they going for a symmetrical kind of look? But that doesn't make sense because the original Duke controller, the black and white button was above and the fucking almost impossible to get. And I have huge hands. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, Okay, this game, this this LP is just doomed to fail. I think. Right, let's go. Have a nade, motherfucker. Um. Okay, let's actually like try and nade this guy. Uh, nades. Nades are not as useful as I thought they were gonna be. All right. You know, what? let's just kill this guy. Nades aren't really working for me very well here. Alright, let's turn off the old uh, berserk mode. I guess. Oh, we've got gas. We throw gas at people. Me like. Right, let's uh, freshen up our magazine here. Well, this looks fun, doesn't it? Ah, oh, fuck, fuck. I'm right here, fuck boy. Come to Papa. Oh, our gun is seemingly nice and accurate. I wish we had a sniper character. Let's be kind of a little bit more useful here. Come on, you dick. There we go. They killed Kenny! Did you actually just say that? Dude, that was cool. Yeah, we killed Kenny, fuck boy. Alright, it's Ah, we got some medkits. Okay. I now know how to use medkits, guys. We might not just horribly die in the tutorial now. Is there like no stuff. I thought we left stuff back here. Look at these, like, statues, man. That's cool. Like, alien civilization. Alright, let's go kill some uh, more Kennys, because no doubt we will be felling many, many a Kenny before this mission's out. Let's go kick the red hand in the dick. Oh, hey, buddy. What are you doing up here? You're a long way from home, soldier boy. Okay, maybe this gun isn't quite as accurate as I hoped originally. 
But then, Tex isn't really known for his accuracy. Keep it tight. We'll soon see about that. We got loads of nades as well. Might as well use them. Be careful. We've got this place mined. Uh -oh. Disarm a few and pick them up. You might be able to use them later. Uh, move closer to a mine. This sounds fun. Ah, oh, these are disarm moderate. What does that mean? Hold. Oh. Hold to disarm. Okay. So I guess whilst we're disarming. Use sentry bombs to mine an area. Cool. These are like typical video game, like useless mines. Utterly useless. I mean, if you can just see them, if they're like flashing red, you just walk up to them and just, you know, disarm them. Like, no shit's given. I bet we could just shoot these as well. Alright. Not bad, Tex. Not bad. 40 round clip as well. Magazine. Uh, use special ability. Push the white button. Tex uses two weapons at once. Brutus, the spirit of Vengar. Heightens perception and regenerates health. That's quite useful. Hawk is stealth, which again is probably quite useful. And Flint, she is our sniper. She can automatically target enemies. That's interesting. This is the area where your berserk mode may come in handy. Uh -huh. Don't hesitate to use it if you get open. Alright, let's do this. Come on, fuck boys. Let's light them up, Tex. Oh god, we've got like... Yeah, we got a gun turret. Get the tower! Oh, you're not a tower. You're just a dickhead. Alright, not bad, Tex. Not bad. Ah, oh, so what have we got? Confed. Uh, Zell. Zell. Zell? Z. Or oh, LZR. What is that? Oh, yeah. These uh, regen ammo. I don't know if they're any good. High rate of fire ammo. We've got two nades. We've got ten nades now. Dude. Let's go for the regen weapons. Because surely a laser would be more accurate. And it would be nice to have some accuracy here. Alright. Well, let's grab some med kits. Might as well eat one. Mmm. Much better. Let's see what we've got going on around here. I'm enjoying this, actually. This is cool. It's held up okay. I don't know why we never got a sequel to this. But, you know, it's early days. It's early days. Maybe it might be shit as we keep going. Do these barrels explode? Yeah, they do. It's also running quite nicely. Some of the backward compatibility on the um, 360 is a bit ropey, but this is fine. Alright. Can we, like, crouch or something? We can. Hold up. That base may be more than you can handle alone. I'm moving a couple of V-Squad to your location. Don't forget that your squad, squad will use ammo and med kits as needed, but they'll always leave the last med kit for you. Oh, that's quite cool. Huh, okay. If a character dies, their portrait will be replaced with a skull. <laughs> nice. Uh, you can see squad mates' health on your radar. Press D in the direction of the desired. Okay. So can we, like, give orders? Squad commands. Uh, command menu. Multiple. Press the D-pad in the direction of the character icon on the radar to toggle their selection. Issuing commands. Push the A, B, X, or Y buttons to issue a command on selected squad members. Okay. I'm right behind you. Oh, we can literally just, like, change into people. Right. All right well, let's be Tex. So, ah, right, I got you. Cover me. Oh, okay. That that actually works pretty pretty okay actually. All right, lads, let's do this. Ooh. Yeah, maybe this gun's not that great to be honest. Hey, I have a nade, buddy. You ain't getting away from my frags. Whoa! Smoked his ass. Hey, is this does this game have ragdoll? Ragdoll on the original Xbox. Well, that's something that definitely couldn't have been done on the uh, PlayStation 2. At least I don't think it ever was. <laughs> yes, boss. We could do that. Give me that rifle. Oh, yeah, the L shots. Ooh. Hey, buddy. 
I see you creeping. Yeah, we're not overly accurate though. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Did he just say mama? Mama ain't helping you now, boy. Unless you can like regen your ass somehow. Best not to think about that. Uh, actually, I will have my mark assault back because, yeah, yeah, the other gun was shit. All right, come on, guys. Hey, welcome to the party, pal. Have a nade. Go get them, boys. Oh wow, we are getting some frame rate issues. Ah, uh, that's to be expected. Whoa. Okay, well, we cleared those bastards out. Hey, we've got some more ammo. Swap that magazine over and grab some more rounds. Not bad. Everybody good? Everybody good? Everybody good except me, apparently. Well, let's have, let's have a... Medkits sound strange. Like, I keep thinking every time I use one that that's a nade going off. Right, let's do this. Come on, let's get some frags in there. Frag you, buddy. Boom! Wow, the grenades actually feel really cool. There's like a nice effect going on. Holy shit! I guess we're here to rock the house. Let's take the high ground. No one up here. Well, when in doubt, get the nades out. Oh, I say there's no one up here. Yes, there is. It's just inglorious low fill. Oh, shit. Lo fi. There you are. You're done, buddy. You're done. I guess. We don't actually need to aim with this gun. Because there is kind of a lock on system. Alright, where's the other troopers? Alright, not bad. Not bad, boys, not bad. Yeah, you combat roll, son. Don't know what you're combat rolling away from. Um boys, let me get a nade in there. If I can get a nade in there, there we go. Boom, buddy. Man down. Yeah, I think man fragged. Uh-oh. Nades bounce. At least there's plenty of medkits. Nice work. We're all done here. Head to the extraction point I've marked on your radar and I'll bring you home. Sounds like a plan. Hey, you said you could like zap me up from anywhere. Why do I have to go to a certain location? I mean, there's still a chance of me being left behind. Right, let's... Let's have a little look around here. See if there's any goodies. I don't think there's like anything to find. We've got... Ah, secondary objective. Investigate all terrorist buildings. Have we completed that? So we've been in here. I don't know if we get anything for like investigating all the buildings like for completing secondary objectives but let's have a little look because we might as well ooh oh wow we just got like a thousand points oh there we go it actually tells us it's completed oh that's all we get we unlock stuff for deathmatch Ah, well, that's a waste of time, but we are going to try and get all the secondary objectives. All right, let's go. Yeah, I think, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm going to enjoy this. Oh, we get cash. Oh, we got the Confed Marine, which is cool. We've got the objectives, more stats. We didn't lose any operatives, which is good. Um, okay, so... Eliminate every terrorist at the main base. Okay. Oh, we got, like, bonus money. No cash penalties. I think... I don't know what you get cash penalties for. Probably losing men and a few other things. Hmm. All right. Well, let's continue. Oh, they're the only extra stats you get. Okay. Me like. We have a critical mission. The newest members of the Confederation, a planet called Ferrix. Ferrix. I've heard the name. The Ferals are a primitive race, living in clans, acting more on intuition than reason. Hmm. They're a savage species, but noble. Noble savages. Huh? 
When one of them commits a crime against the clan, he's exiled, an outcast, banished. Until now, these outcasts have wandered the land as lost individuals, scavengers waiting to die. And now? They've begun slaughtering as groups. Someone's turning them into a death squad, gathering them, leading them, cohesively molding their thoughts and actions. Uh. <laughs> Who's the charmer? We've gotten reports the outcasts have been using alien technology in their latest raids. Great. If we get proof of that technology, we might have our answer. Anything else? The newest member of your team is there now. You'll rendezvous planet side. A feral warrior named Brutus. Feral. You partnered me up with an animal? <laughs> He's confederation trained. He's one of us, Tex. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Well, all right. So, accessing video archives, searching for Operative Brutus. Brutus is pretty cool from what I remember. Just like shooting. Like Stormtrooper syndrome. Looks like a T-Rex hunter hybrid. Hmm, weird. Me like. Anyway, we're on a half an hour here, guys. So, the mission is going to have to wait. When the game actually finally, you know, loads. Chapter 1. Ah. What a dump. <laughs> I'm going to find a squad mate here. We've sent in a confed personnel carrier to evacuate the remaining colonists to a secure village. Then Brutus? Find him. You are the one, yes? Oh, that was... You have information for me? Outcasts are everywhere. Brutus was captured deep within the village. His actions saved many lives. Hmm. Well, looks like I gotta save him now. He'd better be worth it. He is. Oh, and Tex? Many colonists are still MIA. If you come across any, lay down some covering fire so they can make it back to the ship. Yes, sir. <laughs> I like Tex. Tex is cool. He's just enough of an arsehole to be likable. Right, anyway, guys, I'm going to have to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. As always, till next time.